brothers and friends, on the day when Christ comes again, there will be a reward. There will also be punishment. I think God is very fair. God will give reward to those who have been obedient to Him and who have been doing His will. God will punish those that have not been doing His will. The talent, highly most God didn't want that. Okay? And as we read further, verse 31, When the Son of Man shall come in His glory, and all the holy angels with Him, then shall He sit upon the throne of His glory, and before him shall be gathered all nations, and shall be, and he shall separate them one from another, as a shepherd divided his sheep from the goats. And he shall set the sheep on the right hand, but the goats on the left hand. <coughs> now what it actually means is that our Lord will be the judge. He will judge, and he will know which one is sheep, and which one is goats. The sheep will go on the right hand side, and the goats will go on to the left hand side. Those who have done good, who have obeyed his will will be on the right hand side. Those who have not will be on the left hand side. Brethren and friends, there will be rewards. In as much as we look further, verse 34 onwards, the Bible says, Then shall the king say unto them on his right hand, Come, ye blessed of my father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. For I was a hunger and you gave me meat. I was thirsty and you gave me drink. I was a stranger and you took me in. Naked and you clothed me. I was sick and you visited me. I was in prison and you came unto me. Verse 37, take note. The Bible says, Then shall the righteous answer, Say, Lord, when saw we thee a hunger and feed thee, or thirsty and gave thee drink? When saw we thee a stranger and took thee in, or naked and clothed thee? Or when saw we thee sick, or in prison, or came unto thee? Verse 40, And the king shall answer and say unto them, Verily I say unto you, Inasmuch as you have done unto one of these least of my brethren, ye have done unto me. Brethren and friends, The reward will be given to us, whereby the Bible says, The righteous answer God. The righteous are those who have been made right with God. Those who have obeyed God. But we do not know what we have done. Sometimes in my work as a Christian, one young girl or brother will come and see me and say, Brother Richard, do you remember me? I said, I don't. Because I meet with a lot of children during the time when I leave the children's camp. Oh, last time you did this, you helped me. You straightened my arm. You did this, you did that. I said, I don't remember. And that will be the day of reckoning when you have done good and peace. And you will be asking God, when did I do all these good things? It will be something, I, I don't know how it will be like, but uh, something like computer, a lot of chips there. Then you just press the button, it will show all the things that you have done, the good things you have done in your life. But you never know. You never remember. I'm quite sure in your life there are people who come and Oh, last time you helped me before. Yeah, really, I helped you. I can't remember. I'm quite sure that that has happened in your life before. And that is what happens. Then there will be another group. In verse 41 onwards. Let me read. Then shall we say also unto them that on the right hand, Depart from me, you curse into everlasting fire. Prepare for the devil and his angels. The everlasting fire was not prepared for you and me. It was prepared for the devil and his angels. But if we have not been obedient to God, we will fall under this category because as I read in verse 42, from verse 42, For I was a hunger and you gave me no meat. I was thirsty and gave me no drink. I was a stranger and you took me not in. Naked and you clothed me not. Sick and in prison and you visited me not. Verse 44, Then shall they also answer him, saying, Lord, when saw we thee a hunger or thirst or a stranger or naked or sick or in prison and did not minister unto thee? Verse 45, Then shall he, Jesus answered, saying, Very little I say unto you, inasmuch as you did it not to one of the least of these, you did it not to me. Verse 46, <coughs> And this shall go away into everlasting punishment, but the righteous into life eternal. So there are only two places that we will go, either heaven or a place.
place of eternal punishment. Brethren and friends, on the day of judgment, we will have to defend ourselves. Well, I didn't do this. I've been good. But God says that, look, you have not done all these good things to the people. <coughs> Therefore, it's important for us to realize. That's what the text. <coughs> it's important for us to realize that how we live in this life will determine our destination. What decision we make in this life will determine our destination. See, I told you, you'll get your reward. It's here. <laughs> Brethren and friends, when we think about this scripture, it's very frightening. It's really very frightening. Because if we don't go to heaven, there's no other place to go except a place of punishment. And therefore, we must make ourselves right. Inasmuch as God gives us an opportunity to share on that day, and to defend ourselves. You know that Jesus Christ is also our advocate. Why do we need an advocate on judgment day? Because there is a judge. And we need a lawyer to defend for us. Isn't it interesting? Let me go further. <clears throat> because the Bible says that on that day, Christ will be the judge. 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 10, as we look at that. 2 <coughs> Corinthians chapter 5, verse 10. <coughs> chapter 5, verse 10. <coughs> the Bible says, For we must all, everybody, for we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ, that everyone may receive the things done in his body according to that he had done, whether it be good or bad. Whether it be good or bad, the good of course will receive the reward, but the bad will be punished. What will happen when Christ comes again? The Bible says that he will deliver the kingdom back to God. 1 Corinthians chapter 15. First Corinthians chapter 15, verse 23. 